Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome to round two of the Ask Mathis format. Uh, this time actually I got way more questions than I did in the last one. I picked 10 I believe, or close to 10. Uh, if I didn't get to your question, make sure you hang on to it for next time. I'll be doing a lot more of these in the future, maybe one or two a month. I have a lot of fun doing them. And uh, if I did answer your question, I apologize ahead of time that I had to answer it and I probably butchered your name and I probably gave you a stupid answer. Let's have some fun. So the first question comes from Ryan Bobble. He asks, I think I speak for like four other people, probably a little more than that, when I say, would you or will you do a playthrough of Fallout 4? Uh, not to, to show my hand too early because this is uh, something I've been planning for a little while, uh, but around September, maybe middle to end of August, I'm gonna start Either, either via Twitch or via YouTube, depending on what format I want to do, a full Fallout playthrough. By full, I mean Fallout 1, Fallout 2, Fallout 3, and Fallout New Vegas. Um, it is something I'm planning on doing. Right now, I'm leaning towards streaming it, and of course, I can move the streams over to YouTube. Uh, and this is all preparation for Fallout 4, which I will probably end up streaming. I don't think I'll do a playthrough of because it would just be really, really long. And those games, I like to be more relaxed and explore the world and maybe uh, being on and energetic the entire time is hard. That leans itself or lends itself more to a Twitch kind of a stream, so that's what I'll probably end up doing. Don't hold me to any of it because I don't know if it's going to happen, but that's currently my plan. Snakes Lord asks, he says, have you thought about doing a new season of Project Zomboid now that it's updated? P.S. Love your videos, man. Keep up the good work. So I get this question a lot. Uh, will you continue X, Y, or Z series? Project Zomboid is easily the biggest request to come back. And for those who might not know why, it's because that's kind of what propelled my channel forward in a lot of ways. Um, if I search Project Zomboid right now, which I did, uh, prior to recording this, like I'll just type in Project Zomboid and my video from almost a year ago is right at the top with 100,000 views and this is from like a build from a very, very long time ago. I will be going back to Project Zomboid. Uh, on a daily routine, that's tough to say. I don't know if I want to do it daily or not um, because I feel like, ugh, a piece of hair in my mouth. Um, I don't want to do it daily because I'm still very burnt out on it, but when NPCs hit, I feel like doing it daily again is something that's that's something I'm going to want to do. But I am fully aware that there's been a huge update to the game and that's something that I'm going to taking a look at sooner rather than later without showing my hand or knowing when. Just keep your fingers crossed that it's going to be soon. But yes, I will eventually go back to it. Diplodocus1337 asks, how is working out going? You talked about working out and living a healthier life once you, uh, once, but you never brought up the topic again. I surely have no idea what you mean. I'm obviously living the healthiest lifestyle I've ever lived. I don't know my life. I don't know the delicious food I've had in a long time. And it's healthy. It's frosted. Mm. It's frosted crispies. Uh, but honestly, <laughs> it's an honest answer. Um, I have lacked or slacked in my running. I was running every day for like, I did it for like two or three weeks straight. And then I started traveling and, um, that was like to England, off to, uh, to Canada. Uh, you know, I've just been traveling a lot essentially. And I ended up like when I got back, I, and a lot of the traveling was happening pretty rapidly back to back. When I got back from the trips, I didn't, I really just wanted to relax because I was super tired and I fell out of it. And as you know, when you fall out of exercising, it's really hard to get back into it and get back motivated. I do want to get back to running. The, the running shoes stare at me every goddamn day. Um, but I have one more trip that's coming up and um, I know if I start running now and then I take a trip and I come back, I'm just going to slack on it. So I'm going to wait until the trip is over and then I'll try and get back to it. But yes, I know, I've been really, really bad about it. Alan, B42K Baker asks, what the fuck uh, are you doing with your hairs? Well, more specifically, um, I've got this hair right here. Uh, I've dyed it blonde, it's, it's looking pretty good. I figure if I keep it blonde, it won't stick out and it'll feel unique from the rest of the hairs. Uh, this hair over here is uh, going to college. I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of sticking up. But that's what I'm doing with that hair, is I'm sending it to college. I feel, I send it to college now and it does well enough. By the time I'm like 70, it probably will be able to support me while I retire. This hair right here, he's a rebel. Uh, he doesn't want to be dyed any color and he keeps banging all the hairs around me. Uh, so I don't, I can't control him. I, I he does, this hair does what he wants. Uh, oh, you mean my haircut? I, yeah, I need a haircut. 
Carson Chavez asks, and this is asked a lot actually, is uh, what is the series you are most proud of? Uh, I get this asked, I get this asked a lot on Ask FM. I see this on other videos. It's a tough question to answer because I'm proud of all of them in, in varying different ways. Uh, I'm super proud of uh, the, the fact that I finished Grimrock 2. Like that was a game halfway through when I was getting super stuck, I was getting super frustrated with. Uh, always sometimes monsters I'm massively proud of because I just enjoyed that style of game. Project Zomboid, I'm hugely proud of because it got me or helped me get to where I am today. It's really hard for me to pick all the things and I'm really proud of the stuff I'm doing today because there's a lot more effort involved and is uh, my, my new videos, though you may not be able to tell, um, requires a lot more uh, energy and it, it, it's, it's more variety based compared to what I used to do and I'm proud of me being able to branch out and do that stuff. So it fully depends on the, uh, the series that I'm talking about. I don't think there's one series I'm most proud of. Uh, whatever, 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 that's a fan fucking tastic name, asks, uh, I know a while, it was a while ago, but how was hanging out with Aruma Quill and Northern Lion for the first time all together at the Hearts of Iron 4 event? I always wonder if the dynamics are pretty similar slash awkward with people you've recorded videos with for a long time, basically co-workers slash internet friends, then suddenly hang out in person. You know, it, it's weird because I, you, you use the word internet friends and I know you don't mean it in a bad way. But these people are my friends. I talk with them every single day for the most part. You know, Ryan especially I talk to a lot. These people have become more than co-workers. They are my friends. So when we all hung out, uh, Quill, Arumba, and Northern Lion and I, it was no different. And that's one of the fantastic parts about doing what we do. And these people, they are who they are in the videos as they are in real life. So when the four of us get together, outside of maybe seeing, you know, some of them for the first time in the flesh, after like that whole, oh, that's what you look like. Holy shit, Quill, you're really fucking tall. Um, it's just back to basics. It's, we're just who we are, who we've always have been. So it was really fun. And it's like that with anybody that I've ever met, like uh, working with Max, Gassy Mexican. Um, you know, I got to hang out with him in Sweden for a while and we all dr got to drink in like a, a, a Viking bar and it was fantastic. Uh, and they're just the same people. It's, it's really cool that all these people are the same people as they are. And if we get along online, we get along in person. It's, it's awesome. These people have become my friends. So it, it was great. Not awkward at all. I loved it. Except when Ryan took off his pants. Cloud King asks, can you tell us more about your days eating peanut butter to survive? Um, interesting question. I, I wanted to pluck this one out because it is, it is asked actually quite a lot. I don't want to go into too much detail, but uh, there was a time where me and Carrie, back when we were living in, uh, in an old apartment many years ago, were really, really struggling. Um, I was working as a waiter uh, between starting off at Applebee's and eventually going to the Cheesecake Factory and Carrie was just working her internship after graduating medical school for veterinary medicine and internship only paid $30,000. She worked in an expensive town so we wanted, we wanted to live close there because we didn't want her to have to drive really far because she was working overnight shifts and all this other stuff so we ended up living in an apartment in near that town which ended up being pretty expensive and because I was working a waitering job and she was working an internship we were very very poor um, it was a struggle to pay the bills and keep the lights on for a couple of years um, my parents bought us groceries like full carts of groceries as often as they could her parents helped us out more than I care to admit and we owe them the world for doing that um, they were they were fantastic people but it was such a struggle that there, and I have I have a huge pride thing. It is very much, it runs in my family. I'm too proud to ask for help. So we only asked for help when we were basically, like couldn't afford the bills for that month. Uh, and we were on the verge of getting kicked out. Um, I There were many, many nights where my dinner was spoonfuls of peanut butter and my dessert was peanut butter with chocolate chips mixed in. And I did that more often than I care to admit. It was not great. Now, luckily, uh, if I was working the next day, I would get a free meal or at least a cheap meal And if I made enough money that night on the floor, I would use some of that to pay uh, For myself for a dinner and bring carry home the leftovers or bring home two dinners if I worked a double and I got a free meal uh, And I could afford to bring home a second one um, We were just really really poor it, it, it happens. We were struggling really hard to get by luckily everything worked out You know eventually this YouTube thing kind of exploded in a way I never expected it to and she got a job that paid more and we were able to move and all this other stuff uh, but overall like there were there was a day where every morning we'd open the cupboards and be like we have literally nothing 
and uh, those, you know, people go through it. I want you to feel bad for me. No, oh, woe is me. I'm, I'm clearly uh, happier now. You know, I can, we can eat, and I can eat, and I can work, and I'm just happy. Um, but yeah, those were dark days, man, and lots of people go through them. And, you know, you, if you can get through it, you are a better person. You become a better person for it. The, the key is to never, ever, ever give up. Don't let the world beat you down and work even harder to get yourself out of that situation. There's always an out. The out might not be, the out might not be easy to see or easy to understand. Uh, and it might mean working two or three goddamn jobs. But there's always an out, and when you finally get your head above water, that first breath of fresh air is the best breath of air you've ever taken in your life. The next question comes from Twitter. Uh, as I said, use the hashtag AskMathis on Twitter so I can easily find them. And it comes from Caitlin, and she says, What are some of your favorite video game characters? That is an interesting question, because I never really thought about characters. Like, who are my favorite characters? Um... It's weird, I, I really love Geralt from The Witcher 3. He has been one of my favorite, like, just playable characters uh, in a video game ever. Um, he He's basically medieval Batman, but I love his dry, sarcastic sense of humor. And he's probably coming to mind right now because I just play the goddamn game so much right now, uh, recently. Um, it's, it's, it's really good, I really love it, it's super fun, and he's an awesome character. Almost all of the supporting cast from Mass Effect 2 comes to mind. I played Mass Effect 2 like six, seven, eight times um, before Mass Effect 3 got released and before I was hugely disappointed. But the supporting cast for Mass Effect uh, 2 was amazing. Jack was a badass. I loved her so much. Um, Moradin, one of my favorite characters in anything, is his musical like outbursts were were really, really good. I mean, it's hard for me to pick. They're all really good. Um, I would say almost all of them from that and um, I really like what is gonna be kind of out, out of nowhere but I really like Zelda from Ocarina of Time um, for being such a badass and being chic uh, in the future and basically being a, a freaking kick-ass you know uh, ninja chick which was really, uh, it blew me away when it got revealed who it was because it didn't put it, my young mind didn't put it together and I loved it. I thought it was super cool. Um, it was a really cool uh, reveal. So there's like a handful for you. Um, other than that, none really come to mind. Demon V asks, Mathis, will you marry me? Now I just await my beautiful bride. We were going to get married in my office, like we agreed to. I have Maya here waiting to officiate, but no demon. No demon V. I'm being stood up. I'm being stood up! How about next time you show up to the wedding? And finally, Gibba asks the most important question. Have you protected your lovely nipples. I have actually, thanks for asking. If you don't know what he's talking about, I have a limited time t-shirt for sale for the next nine days, 10 days, up at teespring.com slash Mathis Games. Protect your nipples, they are precious. And order your t-shirt today. They will never be sold again after this. So go check it out and grab yourself some nipple protection. And that's gonna wrap up this episode of Ask Mathis. I will be doing this again in the next uh, couple of weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that I answered your questions and I hope you weren't too disappointed by the answers. And I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Thank you so much for coming by and I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye. Protect the nipples. <laughs>